I was riding around the river between Dalkeith and Claremont and I noticed how the bike lane on the side of the road started off really nice and wide in Dalkeith and then as we started getting towards Claremont it became narrower and narrower. Now for a long stretch there is no bike lane but we have hit it now and this thing is about at this point maybe as wide as a single bed mattress. It's an amazing piece of space but notice there's no islands down the middle of the road here and that's allowed a bike lane on both sides of the road to be quite wide. And I'm doing a little bit of a slalom here, and I reckon I could have put traffic cones down in the middle of the road and safely done a little slalom around them and not have been at any risk of going over that line of magic white paint. So this, to me, is a pretty darn good bike lane. Okay, it's not separated by concrete, it's not grade separated, it's not up on the verge, completely out of the way of cars and buses and stuff, and you could still get hit here by some muppet who's driving along looking at their phone and, you know, not paying attention, and they drift across the lane and hit you. But anyway, we go a bit further towards Claremont, and the lane starts getting narrower and narrower, and I thought... I should stop the bike, flip it upside down, stick the handlebars across the lane and see if my mountain bike handlebars are actually wider than this lane because it certainly seemed to be pretty darn narrow to me at this point. And I tried doing a little slalom thing. It's like, whoop, nope, can't do that. I'm either going to hit the bins or I'm going to go out on the lane. But notice what the council have done is they've put islands down the middle of the road. Now, if they've taken those islands out and just put a line of double paint down the middle then they could have had nice wide bike lanes on both sides and we'd have a reduced risk of getting hit by you know, a vehicle coming up behind. But it gets worse as we go further up and they start to allow, after peak hour, parking in this lane. So you have to get out of this lane and go around these parked cars on an uphill gradient, which is reasonably significant, with the risk of getting clocked by vehicles coming up behind you. It is just the silliest design. And at the top of this hill, we've got a private school. And you would think that what the council would want to do is to uh, cut down on traffic congestion here in the morning with all the parents dropping the kids off, is to put in a facility which would allow the kids to ride to school safely from that direction. But of course it cuts out just before the roundabout uh, to get to the school. So it just seems to be absolutely bonkers. Talk about shooting yourself on the foot. And I've seen the traffic jams here in the morning and the afternoons and they are very, very impressive. So... Yeah, you'd think if they just went back there and, and fixed up those bike lanes, they could possibly transfer quite a bit of that, uh, that car traffic uh, onto bicycles and life would just be better for everybody.